Welcome back to the den, everybody. I'm your host, Cory1280, and this is Let's Play Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we landed on Talon 4 and found our way into the Chozo Ruins. This time, we will check out what this seismic disturbance is, which we're going to get an update about in a second. Here we, here we go. Yeah, seismic, seismic activity. Unfortunately, I can't skip through it anymore. That's one thing that I do you recognize it's changed from the GameCube version? Is that you can no longer skip through those, uh... map thingies. More scarabs! It's probably one of the easier lines to take out. To be perfectly honest. Excuse me! And for right now, we can't really do anything about these damned war wasps. Which is a shame. What's that? Brinstone. Concussive Blast. And this... One meter. That's about the width of the Morph Ball, but unfortunately... We don't have it. Which is a huge shame. And through here is... I think I forgot to scan something. This is a Plasmite. It's basically just a glow bug. Just... Pop them a few times. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Uh... Tangleweed. That's right. I thought it was tangle grass. Basically, if you run into it, yeah, these things will tend to dodge if you miss. But the tangleweed is just there to impede your progress. That's it. Doesn't hurt you or anything. And oof. This room's seen better days. More acid down there. Hey, that looks good. Oops. That's a blast door. <laughs> Elevator bridge, huh? Life forms. Worn but functional. Great. And this high level toxins. How lovely. Yep. Nope. Well. That's just great. Say hello to the hive mecha. Our first, or well, our next mini boss, and say hello to these guys. I can watch onto one. Yep. Oh, what a picture there! Ram war wasps. They circle and then they dive at you. However, if your timing is decent enough, you can actually nail them while they're going around. Like that. Just watch your radar for where they stop. And once you get them all, blast the hive mecha. Simple as that. But we gotta do this three times. And progressively more ram war wasps. This fight's just a little annoying, really. Yeah. They will sometimes do that. Kinda just charge straight across for some reason or another. Yeah, just watch your radar. And make sure you don't jump too early. Just blast away as fast as you can. I hope that they go the way that you want. Number two. This boss is just kind of tedious. Thankfully, this you can focus on any of these and get a couple war wasps at or before they even start doing damage. Hey, hey. This fight can either be very long or very, very short. You. Or if you did the, uh... Or if you're playing the GameCube version, you can do the skip that I told you about earlier. I'm not going to see what the item is yet. Because it's actually a fair distance away. There we go. Hive Mecha defeated. I'll get into what those things are that pop up in just a second. I forgot to do last time. And for our troubles. We get our first cannon upgrade. We get our missile launcher back. Press down to fire. We start with five. And now we can blow up these blast doors. And through here, I don't think we need to scan this. Nope. 
is our first energy tank, which is very nice. And now that we've gotten that, let's scan this. This is regular ammo. That's small ammo again. Anyway, that's regular ammo, I'm sorry. <coughs> anyway, that reward message that I got, it... Okay. It's a way back. The message that I got is basically a kind of currency in a way. At least for the trilogies. Out in the uh, main menu. Basically what it allows you to do is buy um, galleries and extras and soundtracks. Oh, nice thing to do here. We can now destroy the War Wasp hives. This doesn't count as anything, but it's just something you can scan. Anyways, more blast caps. It's brimstone. Which means that missiles can shatter it. And, oop, I always do that. Get another missile expansion. Let's see here. Through this door, we find the map room. And I'm getting off track. But, the, uh... It allows you to buy just random things, like I said, galleries and stuff. And once you beat this game, it allows you to unlock a change of look for Samus. Which I'm... well, I could, but eh, I don't know. More scarabs. These guys kind of scatter, so it's a little difficult. But I think I got them all. Missed it. Anyway, I think I missed one. Oh well, whatever. Come on! Dern Wiimote. Oop. Don't want to go too fast, because I didn't want to destroy those. Excuse me. Now give me one second. Okay, that's better. I'm a little paranoid about dying during this, so... I'm going to save a lot and just cut that out. Even if it is just a few seconds, that's a few more seconds that I can go through this game that much faster. At least to you guys. Ah, scarabs. Ow. See, I think I've already scanned that. Yes, I have. Blue... Ow. Blue crap everywhere. I still can't get up to that energy tank up there. You know, I'm just ignoring you guys. Because <laughs> you can do that. And now we go over here through another blast door and another scarab hallway. See what I tell you. Ow. Ah. That just figures. Oh, just clean already. Excuse me. Anyways, and here we find a ramp. That's yeah, atypical smooth atypical smoothness. That's not what I wanted to scan. What was this? Sandstone. No, what's this? More fall, let's go get it. Didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Yep, mini gauntlet. Blast away the beetles. Don't bother using your missiles really. Whoa! Feels like there's more of them. Ow. Oh, don't hear any more. This new big thing, big beetle. Blech. Another slight mini boss, the plated beetle. Basically, what you want to do is wait until done, wait until it charges you, and then 
And then as it says, dash out of the way and fire a missile. Because it just takes two. I need to like start blowing my nose before I start this or something. Good lord. And there's another thing to use back in the menu. And we get a morph ball. Yay. Interestingly enough, well actually no. <laughs> I am really sorry. After Easter, by the way, happy Easter. To all of those people who celebrate it. Because it should have passed for everybody at this point. But, um, I've been having a lot of candy. Because, <laughs> yes, I still ask for it. But I think I've had a little too much. Even though I'm probably going to have some jelly beans after this recording. And my, wow. Really? Um, one moment. I'm going up there. Closest one is over there. Okay, that works. This video might run just a bit long. Now, one of the reasons why I have lock on frame movement is so that I can lead my own shots. With um, lock on already on, or lock on movement disabled, you can't you can't move and it auto leads for you, which is actually very very unreliable. I don't know why, but it just is. It's just how this game was programmed. Wah! Scarabs. And more torch bugs. Or plasmines, I'm sorry. And it's more Chosa lore. I don't think I'm going to be showing any of that, to be honest. Because it just takes too, mu too much time. And here's a familiar enemy, the Shriek Bat. Very hot creature. 121 centigrade. Oh, flash shield. And oh. Oh, crap. Wait a minute. I forgot to scan that. Come on back out. You cannot actually kill these things yet. There it is. Reaper Vines, I do believe. Yep. Gotcha. Now the way that we're going to go is over here. I think I might end up uploading these videos based on progress, because there hasn't been terribly much. I mean, I just got the Morph Ball and whatnot. So yeah, I might just... Start uploading on progress. I don't want to tell you this, but whatever. I like to think out loud. Don't mind me. Alright. Next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime, we continue on through these uh, through these ruins, and we look for our next objective, which probably is not going to come up. Until then, everybody. <laughs>